Here we are, August 2020. I'm headed to Alaska in pursuit of doll sheep. Last year, I connected on my first ever ram, an awesome stone sheep in British Columbia. Since then, I've been hooked on sheep hunting and continuing my slam quest here in Alaska. I've spent the last year staying in sheep shape, ready to hit the incredible peaks of the rugged Alaska range. Being my first hunting trip to Alaska, I wasn't sure what to expect. To my surprise, this place was way bigger than I had imagined. After four bush plane flights and a bumpy Super Cub landing on a river bar, I have finally made it. Let's see how well I trained when the climbing begins. Uh, just getting a little update here. Pounding our way up the hill, quads are starting to wake up. Had to stop and throw a little duct tape on my heel blisters on both sides. That's what sheep country will do to you. I'll just crawl in the sack here. Day one, hiked up about seven miles few thousand vertical feet and got camp set up and did a little glassing, spotted some rams, a few using lambs and got a little windy and we're kind of pooped so we're gonna get a long night's rest and recharge and hit it hard tomorrow. Morning started out pretty good. We've been seeing rams and not legal rams, but a lot of half to three quarter curl rams. It's only about 5 p.m. here, and so I have about another five hours or so of good glassing light. So I'm gonna see if there's anything else in this uh, drainage that maybe we looked over. And if there is, then maybe our plan will change tomorrow, but. So far, having lots of fun. In this rugged country, success is only earned, never given. No matter how hard you push, it's never a sure thing. After looking over lots of sheep in several basins the first two days, an opportunity presented itself. One that you're surely not going to pass up. We got a group of shooter rams right below us. I just don't want them to fuck up ass. Standing on the left 
a good sheep though. I can see it's eight years old at least right now. With the, I can count that many rings. So he's legal. That one's legal. On the left. But it's going to be your call here in a minute. I think I'm going to go for the lamb tip one. Okay, go ahead and whack it then. But if something happens and it gets up. the range down there where they're coming out. 503. Looks like you hit him. He's dead. Just wait. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I told you. Good job. Six, seven, eight. This does not count. Nine. This is a false annuli, and this is nine. So he's nine in a piece. And he's got deep drops. Yeah. It's probably. Oh, he's way down below his jaw. He's probably. He's, he's pushing 38. 2020, up here in Alaska. It's my first doll sheet. Scheduled this on about four weeks ago, and just started hitting the hitting the gym, hitting the heavy pack, and definitely can't prepare for this we've been up and down some real gnarly stuff and this is the third day of the hunt it's about seven or eight miles to get back in here just to get to our camp all uphill today we were going to move camp we were about halfway up a pretty nasty ridge and looked down and spotted some rams and there were three legal ones in there two really old ones that were heavily broomed and this one he's nine years old Nothing like hunting sheep in August. Born wild in a world that wants to tame me. You can't catch me on the run cause I'm gone, yeah. I blaze trails, set fire to what's behind me. No, I'm never looking back, I'm on the run. I could only ever be what I'm made to be. Feels good when I'm living on the edge. Watch me now. Don't like fun, they're gonna shake the ground. We well, just came down some pretty serious stuff that we probably shouldn't have. Waterfalls, wet street, it started raining on us.